Hello, Lucina and Oliver. Good morning. Hi, Victor. How are you? Good, good. Uh, yeah, I'm ready for the start of the week. <laughs> what about you? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, everyone. Hello. All right, I think that it is time to start. Um, so I just shared like, the link of the, the meetings. Uh, so just ensure to put your name and, and if you have any particular item to discuss, uh, also make sure to put it in the agenda. Um, so probably the first uh, item in the, in the agenda is about uh, the cloud native taco day. So um, yeah, probably the major announcement is like the, the CFP was extended to February 12th. So if you have any particular um, topic or anything that you want to expose or uh, share with others, uh, we, you still have time to to propose it. Um, it's a great it's a great way to to share it with others and, and also learn from, from that. So I don't know, um, anything else that I just missed it or um, you seen anything that you want to add? Yeah, that sounds good. Um, there are nine different tracks for Telco Day to encourage a wide variety of topics and speakers from different Telco verticals. The newest ones for this Cloud Native Telco Day include sustainability in Telco. Um, so if your Telco has environmental sustainability goals, you like to share the challenges and the plan. That is a new track. Another new track is telecom operator expectations and vision of cloud native. How operators expect to run networks with CNS, cloud native network functions. And another new track is production and commercial launches of CNS. So as cloud native CSPs 
move forward in their journey using Kubernetes and other cloud native tools. Things that are maybe going into real world production. So we'd love to hear use cases and experience with that. In addition to um, existing tracks like cloud native best practices, networking applications, which is group focuses on developing and testing cloud native network functions, how people are using telco services in the cloud native way, networking and Kubernetes, sharing approaches and challenges, integrating telco applications with Kubernetes in existing network environments. Um, they're also interested in seeing observability, resilience, service availability in telco environments, and if anyone's using multi-cloud or hybrid cloud, telco use cases and experiences are, we're interested to hear about that too. So it will be a half day event. And uh, if we get a variety of CFPs, then hopefully we can have a program that is well-rounded. Exactly. Yeah, the other thing is like, this is only an, um, on in-person event, so there's not going to be a chance to to watch all these sessions remotely. <laughs> so that's right. The program itself is uh, in person only, no virtual, real time aspect. But the events team is really good at putting the content on YouTube within 24 to 48 hours, so it will be available to view. But if you're able to travel. To Amsterdam, if your company doesn't have any travel freezes and it's safe to travel to KubeCon Europe, um, the KubeCon now has a all access in person ticket that provides access to KubeCon as well as all CNCF co hosted co located events. Um, so if you do plan to go to KubeCon in person, be able to submit a safety for telco data. Great. Um, so any any question, any comment, any anything about the uh, cloud native date? Uh, all right. If there is now any question about it, um, the other thing is regarding the, the upcoming events. Um, Probably the most closest is um, the Elephant Developer Testing Forum, which is going to be virtual and free, so you can you can access to that. And there are a few, few interesting topics there, uh, which I encourage to, to take a look at them. Um, the others are here. I'm showing the, the screen. Um, we just mentioned about um, also the clouding. Local day, um, the, the open source summit. Um, so, anyone interested on in going on any of these events? All right. So probably we can jump. Just jump to the. To the PRs and discuss uh, what we have open. Okay, um, I just opened this PR. Uh, it's quite simple, just fixing a few things, uh, especially the LinkedIn issues. Um, as far as I remember, someone was reporting, uh, probably the major thing is like, um, this, which is not was a typo, was more like a fixing a, a definition. So we have a virtual routing and forwarding, which is we were just missing the, the end, makes a total difference. And the other thing is, uh, talks just changed the, the way to pass the, the environment variables. Uh, just Instead of white spaces, are using commas. And the intern was complaining about 
the, the headers. Um, so given that we were mixing the headers, I had to just to change it to, to be consistent uh, using uh, the same the same the same format. A uh, few, I guess the other are just few uh, missing words. But other than that, our, our thing, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite straightforward. Um, so I don't know if we can just merge this or like, uh, or someone has any, any, any op opposition to this, uh, this change. No opposition from me. Thanks. I'm happy to I'm happy to approve it if I can. Yeah, likewise. <laughs> Let me just paste the uh, link to the chat to, to quick access. Okay, yes, we have quorum to just manage it, right? Now coming back to the issues. Um, I think that we have some use probably the, the latest one was this one um peter do you want to mention about this one or just give a, an overview i mean it's, it's just mainly to to move the location of the files right you want just to put them yeah just to make it um where we have a consistent place to go Okay. No pull request yet, but does anyone have any thoughts on that? Is it so the idea is to, to do the work, but the idea is to put user stories and user cases under the docs folder, right? Everything under that directory is good. Yeah. Um okay, yeah, go ahead. No, no, I, I just trying to display this. Uh, what are the, the CVPP is uh, something that? Yeah, I think I added that one um, after as well. I just didn't put a link to it. Move best practice folder, that would be the CVPPs. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it seems like we have a volunteer, so um, yeah, probably. We, we need to help them help him to to uh, make sure that he, he understand that what he has to do and all these things yeah um move the folder and then we probably want some sub tasks saying update all the links Oh, that's right. Yeah, because probably we have some cross reference in internally. Yeah. I mean, if it's, I guess if it's going to be, you know, just someone random that's taking it, which when you, when you add the good first issue tag, then there's people that are just searching for this. And that's probably how they found it. Mm -hmm. Um, it might be good to split it out, but we could we could just see. As long as we add the tech, you know the. This is just moving the folders. We need to say move them and then update the links. I'll go add that to the issue. Okay. Realize the subject does, does has a misspelling. Fix that. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, the other thing that I was thinking is how I don't know how much time we can give him to, to respond to this. I mean, this um, definitely any any help on this is, is, is appreciated, but uh, we don't have to rely too much on. But I'm probably I was just thinking maybe like giving a chance to like one or two weeks if he's not responding, probably una sign it and try to find another volunteer. But yeah, it's, 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 it, let's give it a chance for and let's see how he responds. It's too, it's too early to make conclusions for, for now. As soon as we feel like it, then we can do it. If he's done it by then, then that's fine. That's how I see it. Right. Whenever that is, we got other things to work on right now. This is a low priority, but yeah, that's right. All right. Um, How's that for the? Is was there anything else for I added to that ticket? Go back in it. Um. Wow. Yeah. Good enough. I think it's much, much better. Uh, I like it. I mean, other links outside of the repo will, you know, not work, but we can only deal with what we know about. So I think we'll be fine. Yeah. All right. Let's let's move on to the to the next one. Um, Sounds good. So, I think this this seems to be that we can just start into start creating like kind of a draft for for this one. Um, the last time that I checked in the the glossary, uh, they have another terms like. Uh, like non-trivial terms, like I think Git, GitOps or yeah, like DevOps, DevSecOps, and edge computing. So, mm -hmm. so I think it's, it's 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 a good time to start thinking about TNF as a new term in the glossary. Um, probably, yeah, I know that there is a lot of discussion. What is a CNF and uh, how can, especially. From the starting point, like um, some some con consider like CNF as a container network function, another consider like a cloud native network function. But whatever, like we we consider that is the proper definition. I think that we have to start the discussion probably here, um, proposing something, and maybe receiving feedback from from that point instead of like trying to get a consensus between us. Um, What's under edge computing? Uh, edge computing. All right. Yeah, that's that's usually the template that they are following. Uh, they split the term in in like three main paragraphs. Uh, I didn't know if this was a, ca a category or a just a term. So mm -hmm. everything on the left is a term? Yes. Yes. All huh. okay. there, are, there are few which are not like following this. Uh, probably, let me see if I found like a, a good one. For example, this is like more like a property. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and they have some special tags. Uh, let me see if I found something. Probably. Going to the so internally, uh, what they have is uh, we're seeing a try So in the edge, they have like this uh, this section, um, and they split like a uh, different categories, technology or um let me see if i can find another one uh, the computing could be concept and 
they have some special tags like um, so they are using those things to group uh, the concepts and everything in the in certain areas um, and also they have oh let me go back uh, different styles so I think only this the terms which are in complete status are going to be displayed in the in the web page but you can submit others uh, under um, feedback appreciated uh, status uh, let me see if I can quickly find something in that category um, well, no. it's going to be hard to yeah, all of these things are. Um, yeah, probably it's going to be hard to find just one to, to fall in under that, that particular section. But um, yeah, we can also use that status, like submitting something like a draft. And, and looking for feedback and try to move from, from that point. So probably can start collecting that information and do the proposal if you want it. Uh, so, so what do you think? Do, do you think that sure. I mean, we have, I think, a, a pretty good definition already that we can put forward for cloud native network function. And then if you go into, go to their glossary, they have a cloud native apps on the, you can go to the cloud native apps. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, it's under our concept. Yeah. First, yeah. All right, that one's pretty minimal. They had something else, but um, I was trying to think if you can reference existing terms, then that can be good to tie everything together, which is what we've done somewhat with the cloud native network function. But our definition of cloud native applications is a little bit more expansive than what this is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the other thing is we have to think about these particular answers to uh, what uh, questions to answer. Mm -hmm. like, uh, the, the, the problem that we are trying to address and trying to simplify the explanation. Yeah. And I have seen like others, uh, especially um, this, uh, like this scaling. And scaling is, is, is one of those which has uh, some references. Yeah, I think of scaling. Yeah, for example, this has a definition, it's a property, but it's referring to other terms like horizontal and vertical scaling. Uh, but I, I think that in our case, uh, it's more like a, it's not a property, it's like more like a, uh, I don't know, which has a, a, the other three, three questions. Yeah, but probably just starting the submitting that concept here, maybe we can just initiate the, the discussion. And, and the good thing is like they can help us to um, just simplify the, the, the concept. Maybe, I mean, some of them are technical uh, contributors. So in, in, in terms of, like he understand the, the concepts, um, but others are like, especially like Catherine, he, she's like, a, she has a, marketing background so it's going to be nice to have non-technical uh, point of view of or definition 
Uh, and obviously, this is going to be translated. Seems like a good effort. Yeah. I, I like the idea of working on some of this. Um, does it, anyone have, um, can, can you go back to the issue, Victor? This one? Yeah, let's go ahead and maybe in the comments, we can add some ideas for terms that we want to define maybe. Well, I guess you have definition CNF, definition CNI. Is there any other ones that we want to put in here? Suggest? The other one that I was thinking is a service mesh, but service mesh, I guess, is here, uh, if I remember correctly. Yeah, service mesh is here. Uh, Are you thinking of the mesh or the 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 endpoints? Um, something about what what are you thinking about for that? Well, just just in general, I mean, uh, the technology. I guess probably this is good enough. The other thing that we can start thinking is uh, checking or reviewing the, the the existing best practices and all the documents that. In, in the in all the documentation that we have, try to find some terms that we have to find and probably export them. Anyway, uh, Oliver, uh, Tom. Um, Okay, Tom had to drop. All right, let's, I guess we can come back to this one if, um, unless Oliver, you had anything or anybody else to add. Yeah, nothing to add. All right. Okay. So, I think Tom created this issue in December. Um, so, I think that everything is still under discussion here. Uh, so, I don't know if Tom has add something or modify them. Yeah, because I, I, as I remember, he, he was still working in this particular draft. So probably he's on, he's still on. Um, what else? Um, it seems to be also has some time, but probably we haven't uh, discussed it or like mm -hmm. things in, in this particular proposal. Um, Maybe the, the only one which could be interesting is like this one, but I haven't heard anything from Gregory and and Watson. So should we just continue doing that discussion or start proceeding with the creation of the the, the draft for, for this? Best practice. Uh, I, th I think, I mean, I, I see where you're going, Victor. I think, I mean, as far as trying to push it forward, but it would be good to hear back from 
Yeah, I didn't, you know, whether that's Watson or, or only uh, Gerge, but it would be interesting to hear. Um, I mean, I have asked internally within, you know, in terms, you know, in matrix as well, just to sort of get the views, you know, and there are a lot of discussions on this topic uh, as well. So, um, and related to sort of the right level of granularity, if you will, in per, per my, you know, per container or, you know, for microservices, but um, yeah, I don't know. I guess it would at least just be good to see get back, you know, to the re response that you that you had written um, before moving forward. But other than that, um, I understood Taylor's point last time too. I mean, best practices, you know, you may step away from some of them. I obviously, I think we should encourage people, to, or not encourage them. I should. We're hopefully the best practices align well. They won't always align to everyone, so I get that point. Um, yeah, that, that that's true. It's it's interesting, uh, and it's also kind of controversial. <laughs> so, yeah. To find it. yeah, I mean, I think that would be. Well, I don't know. I mean, maybe this is a stupid comment, but I, I think in some ways we were looking at you know cloud native network, you know, applications, network functions, whatever you want to, you know, whatever term we want to use there. Um, I would think that some of that would also drive some evolution or some change or some, you know, maybe some differences that, you know, exist have, to what has existed in the past. Otherwise, that would basically suggest there's no challenges that, you know, for for, for the particular area that we're looking at. Um, so. Uh, yeah, yeah. But, uh, probably, probably also uh, maybe the best practice is not to and to not to use this particular approach probably um, but it would be nice to have strong arguments to not following that i mean i like what gregory was uh, saying like probably in terms of performance and all these things mm. but but if, if if this is affecting the performance uh, just show me the numbers like okay uh, or, or at least a simple use case where where anyone can experiment and say well yeah that's true it's is it's, it's, yeah Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, this is a, I think you've brought up a, a good point here too. I mean, this, you know, I, I don't know how other people, maybe people can talk to all these topics, but I know that, you know, for myself, um, there are times when I can bring someone who I think is more relevant, you know, or has some more experiences to, to share with the group, but I don't know when those are going to be, you know, don't necessarily know when they'll be discussed. So, for example, if we wanted to say, you know, next next Monday we want to have a conversation on this particular item, I can look and see if I if I have someone I think that could maybe bring something to the to the conversation, right? Um, if it's not me, yeah. Um, and, and you know, pros or you know, comments pro, you know, for or against, right? And to your point, just to, that's I think that we're looking for is trying to understand. You know, different differences of opinions and uh, as then you know what what are we backing it up with do we have any do we have any facts yeah otherwise i mean the the, the silent here could be like a, an i don't know like a like a an agree on on this proposal uh so but yeah any any anyone that you know can provide any uh, interesting point or anything here is, is very valuable in terms of like starting the discussion and, and or like not continuing the discussion because the, the discussion has been started so yeah try to try to encourage anyone to 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 help on this discussion i mean any any particular comment for is, is valuable uh so the main idea is, is to provide a, a best practice and we nice to have all the different perspectives and and point of views. So, um, absolutely. Okay. Um, so. The fact to the introduction of the. Do you remember this one, Taylor? Um, 
seems to be something that it is easy, easy to do it or I, I don't remember why we created this one, <laughs> to be honest. Um, it was just like a, a uh, so go ahead and go open it. It's probably easier after seeing those the merging, the final paragraph, um, current focus, et cetera. So let's go over. So is so that yeah, we've we actually did clean it up. Um, what what does it say? Well, now I can't see because it says three days ago. Um, if you went in the history, I think we did this a couple of months ago. Um, we did something to clean it up and remove a few things, but the right. test suite is mentioned at the start, and then there's a paragraph at the bottom. So that that was really just for readability. Readability. There's some redundancy and stuff that could be adjusted. Okay. In in. In this particular section, right? What's that? No, no, no. I, I was just saying that the, the redundancy is in this in this particular section, right? Yeah. So that last sentence of so the first paragraph, and then I don't know. It's I, the whole thing could just be cleaned up and make sure that we're. clear about our is our purpose still aligned or we put you know one of the things we did was make that best practice for cnf developers we added that made sure that it was visible quickly in the read me at the top that's all mm -hmm. do you think that we should add uh good first issue uh, to this and probably update the, the things needed for for the issue like probably we can have some fresh eyes on on this and give us some uh, I, I think it'd be harder to have it as a first issue without more content um yeah. the There's also the concepts and like mission, whatever, all the different things that we're thinking about for this that you wouldn't have context. It's harder to put that sort of thing out, I think, as a first issue. Okay. If there's a specific item that doesn't require as much context or we can describe it explicitly, then you can um, make it a tag it as a good first issue. Okay, yeah. That's really cool. I think that one's something for us internal though, and, and more of if it's a kind of a, a lower priority maintenance item that we need to get around to, but not there's other issues I think that are more important to focus our time on. Yeah, okay. Um, do you, is it still? I was trying to remember about this. Uh, I remember that we created in one of the sessions. Uh, still trying to remember, like yeah, this 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 was something where when we were like modifying the the structure of the the template or so it is it is not done. Seems like it, it is on, right? Mm. 
Because you know the unit. Add, add to the table. Oh, okay. Is so we don't have. Can you go open the add to the table of contents? I think that's for the CNF Dev best practices yeah. under. Yeah. Yeah. Go down to the bottom, Doc. Good for daily. In the CNF best practices process, MD. But this doesn't have like the security. Oh. Um, huh. Oh, add them to the table of contents to do the best practice proposal. I don't know. Where was this supposed to be, Lucina? Where add the list of the CNF best practices. Process to publish. Oh, it's under docs. This is more of the confusion. Hmm. Best CNF dev. Security. There we go. Yeah. But it, it is here, right? Oh, it's there. So this issue is done or not, Lucina? Oh, it's completed. Right. Did so it. We should just close it, right? Yep. Thanks, Lucina. Yeah, we could be one. <laughs> Um, all right, uh, any other issue to discuss? We still have 15 minutes, but I don't know if we have anything else to discuss or any particular um, topic. Uh, um, no, maybe next time hear about the NFIO though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That that that's right. Um, I didn't quite catch that. What did you say, Taylor? Nephew? What were we saying about nephew? We can have that as a topic for maybe next week. Oh, okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and by the way, uh, regarding nephew, the and um, given that we also mentioned about the the next coming events, um, yeah, it's, it's they are going to. There is a lot of people adding topics in in in, in the LFN developer and testing forum. So one of those are nephew. All right. Um, well, if, if that is everything that we have in, in the agenda and there is not anything else to discuss in, in the meeting, then we can just conclude it. So, All right. thanks, everyone. Thanks, Victor. Thank you, Victor. Bye. -bye. See you next week.